Hey guys, just wanted to do a video here on, uh, I traded in my 2021 YFZ450R. Uh, there's no difference. Um, I was getting close to 90 hours, which uh, I was told about 50 hours you're supposed to redo the top end. And it's about 1,500 to two grand for a new top end. So Barney's called me and said, hey, we got another one if you want it. So of course I lost my uh, HMF exhaust that I had on there and I had a seat cover and I had the uh, HMF optimizer. So I lost all that and then I had a bumper on there too. But I was due for some new tires. So I consider it to be a good deal. They gave me about 85 or nine grand for my follower. And uh, so about $2,300 I got this for out the door. So that pretty much evened out what I had to do to the other one, but this one's brand new. Just wanted to do a video that this has zero hours on it. I have not ridden it. I just rode it from the shed to here. That's it. It's brand new. So I just wanted to do some uh, close-up shots here. How clean it is. It's looking good. It's all shiny. So I'm pretty excited to start all over, to be honest with you. Yeah, it's mint clean, man. I love it like this. I always take good care of my stuff. And if you're wondering how it looks this way, it's uh, Sheila Shine. It makes it look like that, man. It looks, looks great. I love it. It's a great product. It works great on everything. I use it on the engine, the rims, everything. Yeah, my uh, 2021 that I had. I've also, I've owned a couple YFZ 450Rs. I had a 2020 YFZ 450R. And I've always been a fan of uh, HMF exhaust. I won't go to no other exhaust. I just love it. it. Sounds good. And I get a lot of compliments on how good it sounds. So, I stick with what I enjoy. So I got another exhaust seat cover and the optimizer on the way they ain't gonna be here for about a month so that's gonna kind of suck but i'll do the break-in period the first 10 hours gonna kind of take it easy up and down on the throttle here and there so i'll enjoy that just go for a little joy ride here and there I'll take it easy but uh i always change the oil every 10 hours and even if it was only one ride that was only an hour, maybe two hours of riding. I always do the air filter and I clean the bike from head to toe and I clean it around 12 o'clock because you never want to put the bike up wet. So I like it totally dry before I put it up. And of course I use chain lube. I have the brush to clean the chain. And uh, here, I'll take the seat off show you what it looks like underneath here yeah I do have to remove the air box lid and then I always buy the uh, uni air filters they're, they're like double the thickness so I'll be getting rid of this one here. That's gonna go. Yeah, man, it's looking good. I'm happy. And who knows if they come out with a 2022, I might go on ahead and trade this in and go get me a 22 after this one. But yeah, I love the ride. It's my getaway. It's my freedom. If it was the end of the world and there were zombies running around, I'd be out there running around on this thing. That's how I tell you that right there. Yeah, man, this thing's clean, beautiful. I love it. I don't know when they're gonna stop making them, so that's another reason why I traded in my other one. So not only were the hours overdue and the chain was stretching, the tires were going, but uh, if I had a chance to get another one, if they possibly might stop making these, 
I'm gonna go grab it. I don't care if it costs me two or three grand. So, all right guys, I'm gonna do a couple drone shots here for you. But that's it, man. Thanks for watching, guys.